Welcome back, Doctors in Training. I've been hearing great things about your work that you've been doing in the community, raising awareness about COVID-19. I knew I had the right team. Last time we met, we left off talking about how we could prevent COVID-19 from spreading. Did anyone find or learn anything that, on how we can do that? Yes, I did. The t I found a tip that says you have to wash hands for at least 20 seconds with hot soapy water. Who else? I've noticed signs all around that tells people to say six feet apart. That is a great observation. Thus, now, do we know why they tell us six feet apart? Because our polycules can't go six feet. They can go, like, shorter than six feet. Great building on what we learned last time. So remember, we're talking about COVID being spread, right? So you have to be infected with COVID. It replicates in your body. And then as you're breathing out, you can spread that in your respiratory droplets. So six feet, your respiratory droplets typically can't get that far. So if you're with people who are outside of your family or outside of your immediate contact, then you want to be six feet apart. And that's why you see the signs. Great, great. Anyone else? I actually have a question. Can we use anything as a mask? Some of my friends have asthma. I wanted to tell them what actually works. That's great. You know, and this is the whole point of this, guys, right? Your doctor's in training. You want to get the right information so you can take it back to your families and you can take it back to your communities, right? And so any mask, any covering is better than nothing. If we're trying to stop our droplets from spreading, then we put something up. So if you have a cloth mask, that would be the lowest level of protection from nothing because it's a barrier, right? And so some of our respiratory droplets will get caught in the cloth. If we were a surgical grade mask, that has closer pores than most materials, right? And the pores are like the spaces between the fibers. So if you have a surgical mask, let's say the fibers are this far apart. So that's gonna stop a lot of things from getting out from your breath or a lot of things from getting in. Then you have an N95 and those pores are even smaller. And so they're small enough to prevent the COVID-19 molecule from getting through the mask, okay? There are lots of great things and many things that we can do to prevent getting COVID like washing our hands with soapy water, wearing a mask, staying six feet apart from people who are outside of our household contacts, and uh, using different types of masks depending on the setting that we're in. Next time I wanna talk about one of the best things that we can do to prevent getting severely sick from COVID. Your learning objective for next session is to learn a little bit about vaccines. Vaccines are one of the most effective ways to stop the spread of COVID and they help prevent us from getting really sick. Until then, remember, patients are waiting for you.